I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on arithmetic sequences and series. We will take up some applications. There is a very first one. We need to find sum of natural numbers using the arithmetic series formula. So what we learn in arithmetic sequences and series is that if uh, A is the first term and D is common difference in that case the the arithmetic sequence will be a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d and so on right so this is the first term second term third term fourth term 3d so nth term will be a plus n minus 1d right so that is your nth term we also learn how to add up the whole sequence so when you add up a sequence it becomes a series so sum of n terms we actually learned two formulas one was related with the number of terms and a and d which was n times twice a plus n minus 1 times d over 2 right so I could write like this so this is one formula which we learned the other formula which we learned was s of n is equal to half of n number of terms times t1 plus nth term whatever is the nth term divided by 2 right so so that is the another formula which we learned where n is number of terms so in our sequence we are writing n is number of terms correct so, so these are few formulas which we have learned now the question is and also a is like t1 right so the first term is a so so t1 and a is kind of same thing right okay now we need to find what is the sum of natural numbers easy using arithmetic series now what is natural numbers so natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 and so on correct so these are natural numbers and when we say sum of natural numbers that means we have to add them all correct so this is arithmetic series now here in this series what do you notice the first term which you may say a or you can say t1 is equal to 1 correct now we are saying that sum of natural numbers up to n so we'll kind of uh, complete this series and write the last number as n so where we have n terms is it okay so in this case first term a or t1 is 1 right and the the nth term tn is actually n so n is also the nth term correct now knowing that what we can do here is that we can use the sum formula and get a general formula correct so so what becomes the the formula now we could write sum of n terms that is sum of n terms that is sum of natural numbers is equal to we'll use this particular formula here which says number of terms are also n so tn the last term is n and also number of terms is also equal to n right 1 2 3 4 the number of terms is also n and the nth term is also n the last term is also n so using these values in the given formula what do we get we get n number of terms are n the first term for us is 1 right so 1 plus 
nth term is again n divided by 2. Right? So that becomes the formula for us. So in general, the sum of natural numbers could be written as, so sum of natural numbers, all natural numbers, right, is which we could write as um, n plus n plus, uh, sorry, n times n plus 1 divided by 2, right. So this is multiplication, n times n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is all natural numbers. Right. So at times we also write this sum in summation, right? So where we are saying this capital N moves from one to N. Right. So that is the sum of uh, natural numbers. Right. So sum of all natural numbers from one to N will be this particular formula. So that is how you could derive your formula. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my video, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.